Hey there, I'm Josh Clark and this is Brain Stuff and this is the Brain Stuff where I explain to you how radiation sickness works. So unless you, you know, work around nuclear activity or are an enemy of the Russian state, you probably don't have much to worry about as far as exposure to radiation goes. But there are situations where you could be exposed to harmful doses like a nuclear meltdown, a nuclear explosion, even some medical equipment leaking could expose you to a harmful dose of radiation. Plus, you can never know too much stuff. So here we go. Not to freak everyone out, but radiation is everywhere all the time and we're exposed to it on a constant basis. Something that's called background radiation. It's perfectly fine, don't worry about that. But when we're talking about human exposure to radiation, we're talking about something that's measured in what are called sieverts. And sieverts take into account not just how much radiation you've been exposed to, but how much radiation we've been exposed to over time, say a year, the intensity of the radiation, and the type of radiation we were exposed to. So for example, there's alpha particles. These are low energy radioactive particles that actually are deflected off of our clothing. The problem is we can still ingest them and they can do terrible things to us like cause lung cancer and the like. Beta particles are a little more energetic and they're actually smaller than the alpha particles, about 8,000 times smaller. And they can actually penetrate our skin, which can create a lot of problems for us as well. But the big daddies are called gamma rays. They're not even particles, they're rays. And they come at you big time with high energy and mess you up. Like I said, we're exposed to background radiation all the time, but it's not much to worry about. In fact, the average background radiation a person is exposed to is something like 0.0036 sieverts, which isn't a very big amount, especially considering that the average CT scan exposes a human being to something like 0.01 sieverts. The thing is, federal guidelines say that we shouldn't be exposed to more than 0.05 sieverts within a year, and it's not a big leap from that to the radiation sickness dose that begins at 0.75 sieverts. And remember, when we're talking radiation sickness, we're saying cumulative amounts. So when this stuff starts to build up, you start to get sick. Between three sieverts and 10 sieverts of exposure gives you about a 50% chance of dying within 30 days. This will come after your hair falls out, you're racked with nausea, and you start to form scars beneath your skin. Perhaps the worst thing about radiation sickness is that when you first show symptoms, they only last for one to two days, and then you appear to be getting better. But you've actually entered what's called the latency period, where your body is getting worse and worse and worse as you get sicker and sicker and sicker. And after, say, something like 30 days, you're in big trouble. So what can you do to protect yourself from radiation sickness? Well, wearing a lead suit around everywhere all the time is probably impractical. But there are some steps you can take in the real world that will keep you safe. And number one amongst them is stay away from radiation. If there's a radiation leak around your house, experts say that you should go into a windowless room and basically hide there until you run out of food or somebody comes to get you. And then of course everybody, if you want to know at home whether or not you've been exposed to enough sieverts to make you sick, just look for the healthy green glow. It's a dead giveaway. So let us know, have you ever been exposed to radiation sickness? Leave a note in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And while you're down there, why not just subscribe to all of our Brain Stuff videos? You will love each and every single one. And don't miss our beautiful website, brainstuffshow.com. It's the greatest.